Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a little girl who lived with her mommy and her daddy and her little brother, Timmy, in a big blue house at the end of a long gravel driveway on the edge of the forest. And this little girl loved going to summer camp, Big Lake Youth Camp in Oregon. And one particular summer, she wasn't going to be able to go to camp because their family had other things going on. But at the last minute, her mom said, it's gonna work out. You're gonna get to go to camp this year. Well, by then, the deadline for signing up for camp had passed. And this meant rather than getting her application in on the first day and getting to have her first or second or even third choice of what she was gonna to get to do every morning, she had to take whatever morning activity was left. And that was sailing. The little girl had really no interest in learning how to sail a sailboat. She would much rather have taken water skiing again, or even done drama class, or photography class, or videography class, or even maybe horseback riding, but sailing? She decided she would still go and take sailing, even if it wasn't her favorite activity or first choice, because she really wanted to go spend a week at camp. And sure enough, she showed up at camp this particular summer, she went all by herself. She didn't take any friends or meet any friends from other places to be in the same cabin. So when she went to check in and move into her cabin and she looked around, there was no one in the cabin that she knew. Every person was a stranger. And everyone else in the cabin that summer had come by themselves too. They kind of looked at each other a little awkwardly at first, wondering if they were even gonna have any fun. They were with people they didn't know and they were all taking sailing because pretty much the entire group of, of girls were people that had signed up late for camp that year. Well, their counselor's name was Tammy Galusha, and she was enthusiastic and full of energy. And she said, girls, we're going to have the best week ever. And to start us off, we're going to learn how to be a team. And in, whenever it's time for us to go somewhere, instead of counting off or trying to figure out if everybody's here, we're going to have a saying that we're going to say and everybody's going to have a word and when we say our whole saying we'll know that our whole cabin is there and we're ready to take off and here we go and each person got assigned a word and when we all said our saying together it went like this big lake camp is number one so let's all go and have some fun and a little girl got to have the very last word of the saying. So every time they went somewhere, she got to say fun and off they went. And as the week went by, they started to get to know each other and learn where they were from and where they went to school and what things they liked, what things they didn't like. And as they started to learn how to sail, they learned something really important. A great big sailboat is very difficult for any one person to sail alone. There's so many different things that need to happen when you sail a sailboat, especially a really big one, that to be able to sail very well, everyone has to learn their part and most importantly, work together. And their goal was to be able to sail without any of the grown-ups help, the college students, across the whole lake by the last day and they worked and they learned and they studied the parts of the sailboat and they practiced putting the sail up and taking the sail down and how did they tack to the left and how did they tack to the right depending on which way the wind was going and sure enough by the very last day they worked together and were able to cross the whole lake well that afternoon there is always a special activity that happens at Big Lake, and those are the Big Lake Olympics. And the most fun part of the Big Lake Olympics is the tug of war. Well, each cabin would get to tug against another cabin, and whichever cabin came out on top would get to have a watermelon feed all to themselves. Well, that was very exciting because it was such a hot time and place. Well, pretty soon it was time and all of the boy cabins went against each other until they had a championship cabin and then it was time for the girls. 
Well, wouldn't you know, when it came down to the final two cabins, it was the sailing cabin against the horsemanship cabin. And the horsemanship girls always walked around camp with a little bit of a swagger because, you know, they got their applications in early and got their first choice. And most of them were a lot bigger than the sailing girls and they had really strong, muscular looking legs. Our counselor said, don't you worry, don't you worry. You guys know how to work as a team. And so she helped us, the girls, line up across from each other, staggered every other one with an anchor person in the back. And then she said, okay, when it's time to tug, I want your anchor person to say, tug, tug, tug. And when she says tug, you guys pull as a group, as you've learned to do, because you've been working together to sail. And pretty soon it was time to start and the sailing girls started tugging. Tug, tug, tug. The horsemanship girls, they were trying their very best. They were using their strongest muscles and they were pulling back as hard and fast as they could. But they weren't working together as a team. And pretty soon the yellow ribbon crossed the line and the sailing girls had won. They won their watermelon that they enjoyed in the hot summer sun and even more than that they enjoyed spending the time together as friends and as a team that accomplished something amazing because they had learned to work together there's a story in the bible about some friends that were able to work together to do something amazing not for themselves they didn't just get a watermelon feed but they were able to do something amazing for their friend. Their friend wasn't able to walk and they couldn't get their friend to Jesus. There was too many people around, but that group of people worked together as a team, climbed up on top the roof of the house, took off all of the shingles and lowered their friend down in front of Jesus where he was able to be healed. An even better prize, something miraculous for the rest of his life. And I can just imagine that team, that group of friends embracing their newly walking friend as they had experienced that miracle with Jesus and walking away together. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you're able to put your differences aside, get to know one another, learn each other's hearts and figure out what role can each of us have and how can we put those roles together to do something that none of us could do on our own. I hope you have a happy Sabbath and it's special getting to share a story with you today.